This classified video material is intended to give you an insight into the special features that distinguish CBRN protective equipment suitable for military combat or reconnaissance missions from protective equipment for the civilian or industrial sector. These are, above all, the possible wearing time, uneasy operability despite the hectic of a battle, an additional ballistic protective effect and, last but not least, its camouflage effect, which requires the use of color patterns adapted to the vegetation in the presumed combat zone. In order to allow the soldier better endurance out there in hostile or contaminated terrain, the use of compressed air equipment is out of the question. Imagine an operator suffocating on retreat from a prolonged reconnaissance mission because his compressed air supply is depleted. Therefore, the use of gas masks with filters is mandatory, despite the fact that those multi-layered high-performance filters used against chemical, biological and nuclear warfare agents severely hinder the breathing of the operator. Unlike a hazmat worker in the civilian sector, the soldier is exposed to the danger of direct enemy fire. A complete rigid body armor would affect his mobility too much. However, certain ballistic protection must be provided to prevent perforation of the protective suit by splinters, dash what would otherwise be just a harmless streak wound, would be a deadly leak of protective equipment in the contaminated combat area. Therefore it should be estimated as mandatory to wear a ballistic combat helmet, a splinter-proof jacket and other shock-protecting equipment, such as crack-resistant outer gloves, over every protective suit while on mission, as we can see it in this video material. Of course, such additional heavy gear does not facilitate operation to the man sealed inside his hermetical suit but it provides the reliability needed to fulfill even prolonged far-forwarded missions. Last but not least let me draw your attention to the camouflage effect. While in industrial environments protective suits are produced in bright colors to facilitate the recovery of an operator after an accident, such high visibility could be lethal when a military operator is faced to the dangers from hostile snipers. The olive green color of the German Zodiac protective suit and the German so-called Flechten camo pattern on this operator's backpack and protective flak jacket are ideally designed to allow operations in combat areas in both Central and Northern Europe. On the other hand, such camo effect as well means the soldier will not be easily recovered by allied rescue teams in case of an emergency.